Hi everybody, welcome to a new series of tutorials on Korg Electribe Wave, your music production machine. So in this first video we are going to get accustomed to the navigation, we're going to introduce the app. So let's first um, select uh, a pattern because we are in pattern mode at the moment and let's hear what it sounds like. So let's click on the play button. <laughs> Okay, so you have an idea now how it sounds like. So let's start from the top left. So here we have a selection of your chaos pad where you can change the um, some parameters in real time depending on what you selected. Okay, for example, on our page, you can change the up gate or the up speed as you move it uh, horizontally for the speed or vertically for the gate. So depending on what you choose, you can change um, you can apply effects or changes to your performance pattern or song um, clicking on the pad. Next you have settings information um, which is quite typical, quite common for all the Korg apps, the same for the app information or product page with news etc. Then you have a link to your store where you can buy additional sounds. Okay, um, Let's close the store. The next you have a button which changes between song, from song to pattern or alternates between pattern and song. Um, so songs are a, a sequence of patterns and so you can get put all together different patterns into a song and, pa and patterns are, are an amalgamation of sequences or each pattern have a sequence which it can be of a synth part or a drum part. Next you have here a browser. In this case, I'm browsing patterns instead of song, but if you click on song and you have that selected, then you can browse also uh, for song. You can load a new song and you can also edit the pattern corresponding to each of the song. You can move, um, as you are in the pattern section, you can move up or down the pattern and you can do that also as it is playing. And if you click on next or previous pattern as it's playing, it waits for the pattern to get to that uh, to the end um, of the steps, including the sequence, and before it moves to the next pattern. Here you have a metronome, a recording button, a stop button, a play button, and a loop button. Now, as you press pattern, you see you have uh, different tabs below. You have a mixer, where you're mixing sounds. You have um, a sound part where you can edit your sounds. You have your sequences here, which will change based if you are on a synth part or a drum part, you see quite different. And then um, you have a motion. This is where you can change your sound and you can create emotions, um, sound changes. And here you have a utility tab where you can copy, clear, transpose, move data between different patterns, etc. If you are in song mode, you have only available the sound and tab and the mixer tab. We go through those, of course, as we progress through the different tutorials. Underneath here, you have the selection of which step you are. So in the sequence, so if I go back to pattern and select sequence, you can see at the top it says 1 to 16. If I click on the second one, you are to 17 to 32, etc. You have solo mute button here you, you, where you can select a eighth part synth and you can play different sounds selecting which bank you are um, you're performing to or you have activated. So here you can click, uh, for example, here the sound on the keyboard here corresponding to this first bank. You can select different bank. And so on. You have also a drum eighth part as well and here you where you can hear the different sound if you click on the pad underneath here you have the steps okay where you are actually recording um, the different drum parts 
And then if you have your keyboard, uh, as it is selected here, you can switch between keyboard to call pad. If you are on keyboard, you can set the scale, for example, you can set to play code. You can see here uh, the codes play, the note plays for each code. If you are in the sequence tab, you can go up or below an octave. And then you have a code pad. Here you can select the type or code pad or code set. The moment there are none, you can set the offset in terms of key, up and down, change the key, and you can fetch the codes from the sequence that is active, which will then be, um, uh, the codes extracted from the sequence will be applied to the different pads. Okay, I'm going to stop here for this video and as always see you next time. Bye!